Well, hello all YouTubers out there and welcome back to another episode of the Beginning Walking Stick. A walking stick for beginners? I don't know. But anyway, I think this is uh, part four of the series that I started on uh, beginning uh, making walking sticks. This one here, you see, we've done had it buffed down and, and uh, sanded prematurely a little bit, but it's pretty much ready to go the right height. It's about mouth high for me. I'm six foot tall. And uh, let's, the next thing I'm going to do is decide what kind of cord uh, that you want around this. You want it about high, so if you're hanging on here, you can kind of put that loop through your through your arm to kind of give it a little stability or, or whatever. And uh, in more of an advanced stage, we would wrap some cord on this handle. But for right now, I think what we're going to do is, is drill a hole. I think if I wrapped it at all, it'd be right there at a comfortable height where you hold it. So I'm going to drill a hole right in that area. And, uh, we don't want to weaken the stick any, but you decide whether you're going to use leather, paracord, or what. I'm going to use some of this camo paracord that I have. You see the diameter of it, and you decide the size of the hole. We want it to be big enough to where that cord or leather or whatever you're sticking through there is going to go through pretty easy. So let's just pick out a spot on here and go over the drill press have my drill in hand. Let's go over to the drill, drill press now. We'll drill a hole there and put the paracord in it, paracord. Okay, I'm here at the drill press and I got that choice drill in my chuck and I'm gonna lay it where it lays fairly flat on there to give me a pretty stable position and guesstimate the middle somewhere. We'll be right there. So let's drill that hole all the way through. There it is. Right there. Now, what we'll see, it come out pretty good on the other side. Uh, we might try to clean that up a little bit, but really not necessary. Okay, we got a fairly clean hole there now that goes all the way through and we're ready for the paracord. Now the next step is to take some 150 grit sandpaper and take it in your fingers this way, the how I do it, and give it overall another sanding and buffing. You can lay it down to do it if you want to. Sometimes it's easier that way. As you can see, I'm just giving it a, another light sanding all the way around, turning the stick as I go, and I'm going all the way to the bottom now. But I'm going to give it a little final sanding here, and then we will move right on to the next step, which will be a finish. You knock off any, any bones, or anything rough that you might have. Uh, there's a little bit right there. I'll just pop that off and go right on. And you don't, you don't catch any of the rough stuff left as you go over it by hand like this. And, uh, you can see I'm going all the way to the bottom. Pretty good. Now, beginning to get pretty smooth. So what you want to do next is to get a good coat of whatever finish you want to put on it. I am going to use a Use a uh, oak finish. What I intend to do is open my little pin here. 
and I use a neoprene neoprene glove. A lot of these can't recommend where to get the best price on them now, but I buy mine at uh, Harbor Freight, and uh, that seems to be the best price. Sometimes you can get them at a another discount store. But I use a foam brush now, and uh, I got this all wiped down, and we're just going to get the stain on it today and see what it looks like. Beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful walking stick. But like I say, this is for beginners, and we're not going to do anything fancy to this. But we get, we are going to attach a paracord to it. But um, this is just the simplest way to make a walking stick that you can go with. Um, now, you can get get a little bit more uh, than simple if you want. But what I do is give this a good coat. And don't wipe it off. I just I just let it stay on there and and soak in real good. This gives it a a deep, a darker color. And uh, as we can see, uh, I let this dry for 24 hours and we'll be back and to the next step of this finishing process. I want it completely coated all the way down, right to the tip. And uh, there we have it. We're ready. Now, no wiping. We just we just let that dry overnight. And there we have it. See you in the morning. We'll take a better look. Okay, here we are back the next morning. And we have the stain all dried. I didn't wipe it off at all. And uh, we'll take some, some light sandpaper, uh, the 150 a grain, just to knock the fuzz off. Now there's only one thing to do in this series of the beginner basic walking stick. And uh, remember we drilled a hole right here. And I'm gonna show you a little easy trick that looks pretty good rather than just sticking a piece of paracord through there and tying the knot. What we're going to do, we're going to make it to where it looks like it's a wrap a little bit, but it won't slip up and down. So let's take a look at that, and I'm going to try to explain that as I go along. First we take, let's turn the camera down here a little bit. I want 48 inches of a paracord. So I'm gonna mark that. And uh, we have got uh, 48 inches right down to this line. So let me get a cutting tool and we'll be right back. And I gently pinch that And get that cut off so. Now I want to take the end of it, slightly burn, melt the end together where it don't uh, come unraveled on us. Uh, and let it catch on fire and then blow it out. That's all we got to do. Now be careful, don't touch it directly after that's done. That's a kind of a nylon that that gets uh, gets pretty hot. So what we're going to do next is get this camera angle here where we can see it. Uh, we'll just stick it through the hole, 
and it's in the middle, so it really don't make any difference to let it lay down like it wants to. Uh, <laughs> it, I don't know if it's going to lay like I want it to or not, but uh, sometimes have this wooden V block that I made out of a four before that that will that will help keep that from rolling on you when you so we'll go here and I want to hold the ends even to start with and we'll just pull it up like so now with that with your thumbs hold that to in the center and we're just like tie a just like tying a knot run it right through there and down again the wood and we want it right to keep that tied right in the center and i'm going to bring the camera down now uh real close to this as i'm as i'm wrapping it okay hopefully we can see this a little better see that knot is just a plain like you're tying a shoe and then you want to go down under and hold that just opposite and you want to tie another knot right there holding it tight to where we just get it through there like you're tying a shoe and sometimes do whatever you got to do to keep that knot on the opposite side on the opposite side of this one now snug it very tight as tight as you can get it there now i want to go over and you see how that's started to cover cover that hole but it, it wants to go over here but you want to go on this side of it see that hole to cover the start covering the hole you can't put it there you'll still see the hole so you want to cover the hole that brings that up to that side and then we bring it around and we tie another shoe knot whoa there we go now snug get down to where that knot is right on the side of that one and you want to tighten it up now this time We'll bring that over that way and that over that way back to the top. And if you see this time, we're going to go, see, you can see the hole right there. So we want to make sure we're on that side of it. And we tie this again. And what happens now is that our hole is completely hidden right there and you tie it pull it tight as you can okay we got that now we want a square knot in that so for a square knot we have to go under this loop and down through that way i'll show you in a minute see how that that, that that's a true square knot if you get it the wrong way it's going to look like this when you bring it over it's it's not going to be it's just going to be a a regular knot and that won't uh, that won't work for us we want a square knot so we're going to go under this side here and over here now see how that Looks like both loops here looping around and going down with each other. Now we'll pull that tight again right there. Now you can see that we don't see the hole. This cannot slip up and down this way. And we don't see the hole. We want to make sure that is that square knot is tight now and that won't come loose. Now you see all of a sudden that this end became longer if you started out, it was even, right? But now you have about four to five inches hanging over. So what you want to do is leave about about uh, two inches, 
sticking out of your short one here. Uh, a good two, two and a half inches. Not really critical. Now I want to wrap this around here loose. One, two, three loops. And then I want to take that same end and feed it through those three loops that we just made. And we tie it like that. Now, when we pull that tight, as we pull that, we want to, to make sure these loops are, are tight again, kind of tight around that, around that, around that, and then we can pull it, we can now pull it tight here, and it gets snug just like that, just like that. Now what we want to do is tie a knot as close to the end of your stick, of your paracord that you can, just tie a little corner knot and you slip it right up tight just to form a little knot like that. And you do the same thing on this end. The other end, we form us a little, a little knot and there you go. Now I want to tighten that thing up to where it, it would really be hard to, to come loose. Now what we want to do is see we can slip that. That makes a slip knot right here that slips up around your wrist. You can get into it really well and uh, slide it right on down and, and tighten things up on your, on your wrist as you, as you, uh, as you want it. And, and there you go. And you can easily slip right out of it. And this will not, this will not slip out of there because it's gonna catch that knot. We won't let it go back down through there. So that's even right there now. And we don't see the hole that we drilled at all. We created this walking stick just over the last uh, two, three videos. And, and uh, what, we're, what we're gonna do now is enhance it by addressing these little cracks that we have in the wood. Those cracks are not gonna grow too much, but they can expand. What we're gonna do now is go through some advanced techniques and uh, see what happens. Now we have to sacrifice a little bit of our cord. We wanna take that off. So we'll cut this knot, it's very hard. So we will, we will cut that off and uh, we don't have to throw it all away, but we'll sacrifice uh, maybe a less than an inch off of each end, and then we'll just go ahead. That allows us to pull that on through, and this here should come loose now. If we hold everything straight, we can pull that through that knot. Now we got that out, and then I didn't put any... Uh, uh, super glue. Uh, when you do this next time, if that's permanent, you tie that square knot, put a little super glue right there on that square knot to keep it from coming loose. But I knew we were going to go in and do some enhancement to this stick, so I didn't do that, so I can... Now, if you do that, it's okay, but remember when you do that, if you take it off, you're going to have to sacrifice that bit of paracord. So now we have the same length paracord, it's just a, a couple inches short maybe. Now what I did right here, as you can see, this, this is my epoxy board. So what I can do, I can get epoxy on this and I don't get it on my working surface of this table. 
and I don't want epoxy all over it. I want it to remain fairly smooth. So anyway, right now, I'm gonna show you the technique I use to put a coat of epoxy all over this stick. So what we're gonna do is get some gloves on. And I use the same gloves that I stained this wood with. And there you go. And here we go. Now that I have those gloves on, I can unscrew my B and my cap matches the B on the bottle. That's very important on your epoxy to make sure the lids go back on the same container. Because if you don't, you won't be able to get the lid off next time. So let's, uh, is that experience talking? I don't know, it could be. I'm going to pour in about a, about a half a, not a half a cup, but a, a good quarter cup of this. And now we want the same amount in this cup here. Uh, that, that looks about the same to me. And now what I'm gonna do is get a stir stick and some craft ice cream sticks, I call them. And we will just pour this together I'll scrape it a little bit, make sure we get, get it down in there, just like that. Now we're going to stir. Make sure it's all mixed really well. Let's get started with the pour now. And what I'm going to do, it's kind of unusual, but I've got this mixed very good, and i gotta got to do it before it gets too hot. We will, it gets too hot. What I'm saying is we're going to pour that right on that, right in that crack and right over the stick like that. Now, now take your glove and just start wiping. Wipe right on down. That, that epoxy will go right in those cracks and uh, it's going to come out with such a shine that will will be uh, will boggle your mind on how shiny this is going to be when we get it done make sure you got the epoxy rubbed in real well and uh, that will go that will serve as quite a sealant now just let it roll into its natural position again. And what I'm gonna do is put this stick right under, under that. So the stick's the only thing that will stick uh, to, the, to the staff once we get it ready. And that'll be right in there somewhere. Now we can look down through there and we can see under completely under the staff so it don't stick to anything except our uh, popsicle sticks. Well, here we are after everything dried. I just twisted a little bit and see how bad we come out. Uh, now that right there is where the popsicle stick was. And right there again where, it was, where the other one was stuck you see how it breaks loose and just kind of it takes epoxy with it when it comes off but i'll show you how to fix that here just in the jiffy uh i hope you can see with the camera just how shiny that is it might help let's see yeah that that does it i want it i want it to stand up all right in that V block. Now I'll get the camera situated over here where you can see what I'm doing. Now right there on that spot. Just so let's uh, show you what I'm gonna do to that to, to fix that little spot. Do whatever you have to do to get your stick to 
have that spot be right directly on top. There's our spot. And I'm going to take some medium clear super glue. CA glue, matter of fact. And we'll put a little CA on it. I have a accelerator here. So I'm going to put some CA right there. Cover that whole thing with CA. And accelerate it. Just like that. Now, that's done. The accelerator is That CA glue will go right into that and uh, fill that void right back up just like epoxy. If you know, you put another, we'll put another coat of it on there, kind of build it up a little, little bit of time. That's why you want this directly on top so it so it uh, it don't run around it just stays right where you want it and we'll put a little more accelerator there let that dry a little bit I'm gonna do the same thing down at the other end and then we'll take a close look at it now I'm gonna get a closer look at that and see how that that just covered that just like sealing it back up with the epoxy. Now if you wanted to stain that little part there that would match the rest of that a little better. I didn't do that because we've got light spots all down through here everywhere so it really don't matter. And here's where the here's where the other one uh, come out but it's it's slick surface just like the rest of the epoxy, just with that CA glue. Now what's remaining is to put the put the knot back on there. And uh, we're going to, just to be able to review it, I'm going to go back over that again. And uh, we'll, we'll cover that, we'll cover that process. I like to have them uh, actually flame, uh, hold it on there till it catches fire and then blow it out. And then that's always about right. Now, just remember, don't touch it right away because it's nylon that stays hot for a little while. Now let's go through, run it through here and we will get it right there in the middle, remember? Now, went over this in the second video, but we'll do it again. We're going just like tying a shoelace to, without the bow. Just try it right through there. I'm holding it in the middle as I go uh, the best I can. Now, tighten that up and, and turn it over. Get that cup out of the way. Okay, now we, we got, still got it in the middle. Want to tighten it up as much as we can. And then we go the shoelace again. Just like tying a, tie it in the knot there and, and put it up on the, Put the knot on the opposite side. Just the opposite side of that knot. And then bring it around. Once again, we'll turn it over. And we're, when we get to that, 
when we get to that knot, we will go on the opposite side here and bring this one over. Now, we'll tie this knot again on the top. And get her good and tight there. Now, when we bring it around, we will see possibly where that knot's at. Well, there's the hole right there. So we go over here. We want to look for the edge of the hole. And you see that's right there. So we want to bring that over. So as that side to cover that hole. And then we will just... Heck, or tie that, tie that knot just the opposite again, and uh, let it. Now we just got that, got that wrong. There we go. Now, should be able to pull it straight through there and get that kind of hard to keep everything tight and still tie that knot. Let it go where it wants to. That, I think we got it right there. Okay, we're tight, tight as we can. And remember now, we take one last look at it, make sure it's got the hole covered. But that hole will be covered. We just tie a shoe knot, go to the other side, tie another loop around, and then do that about three times. Now what we got to do is tie that square knot. And we want it to be... Just like this, because this goes up and goes down in that knot to get the square knot. Because you see how both of these loops, both of these are going, looks like they're going down in that loop. That's a square knot. We tighten it right up. Yeah, both of them, both of them in, in there. And that's a little tricky sometimes. There's a knot right there. Mm. Go under this and back down in here. We want to keep that knot tight when we're drawing this square knot down. We got it's actually easier if you got two people a hold of this thing because you got to keep the knots, keep everything tight as you go, or it's not going to work out too good for you. There's a square knot, and we got that now. Now. Now I got the finish like I want it. So there you can see you can't see the hole anywhere around that. And you you can either go wrap it two or three times, whatever you want there. Whatever looks better. Get that pretty tight. 
take a little CA glue now and put it right on that square knot. That is not going to come loose now. And I put a little around the sides so it don't separate. And then uh, just like that. And then I'll put a little Pull a quick dry on that. The accelerator, commonly known as the accelerator, get it dried off good. Your CA glue has a tendency to kind of soften that uh, epoxy that you have on your stick. So you want to, it'll take a little while for, not too long, but just a few seconds for about a minute for that. Uh, all to harden up again. So now what we're gonna do is get over here and we get our longest, longest speed, and we'll run it around. Uh, you can give yourself plenty of slack, but I'll go ahead around once or twice here. And let's see, let's get on down, pull off enough of it here. There you go. Now. I want one, two, three there. I want to just pull back up through and go up that loop and up that loop. And then we'll start getting it tight. And we will have it just like that. Whoa. Now we'll tie a little knot in each end of this. Remember, I'm using the same one that we took off of this a little earlier. So it's just a little bit shorter than the other one, but it's still long enough. Now let's see, let's get a little, just a regular knot as close to that end as you can get it. Tie it, pull it tight. And I put a little, another dab of super glue on the knot. CA glue, what we normally call it. It's a must for woodworkers, isn't it? I think so. Now, always clear that, clear that nozzle a little bit. There you go. Now I want to put, make sure I hit that with the accelerator a little bit. Now what happens is we got our slip knot in there again, and. Voila, we have a walking stick made here with a uh, paracord that's wrapped around to where we don't even see the hole that we drilled in the, in the stick. Now our cracks with the epoxy, that's full of epoxy. Still see the crack. 
but we don't care about that. Right here, another crack, it's filled with epoxy. All up and down, anywhere where there's a crack started, you have filled it with epoxy. I think we had a one more spot down here somewhere. But look at that. There's a nice shine on that. That's got a coat of epoxy on it that just will last and last and last. That, that just don't come off. Now, there's the basic walking stick. I think we're done with this project, and I hope you enjoyed all four videos uh, for the beginner. Now, we're going to get into some advanced enhancements. It's going to be on this stick. This stick is done if all you want is a simple walking stick. But now there's ways to enhance this walking stick, and it's for the advanced uh, walking stick maker. So we'll see you in the next video.